There's so much more that I want to go clean and organize, but I know I need to rest and it's killing me. Good morning. Man, I really thought, I thought for sure I was going to get away with it. I thought that whatever cold virus that Cameron and Kieran have was going to skip over me, but alas, it is taking hold. The good thing though is that it does not seem nearly as intense as it was for either of them. By the second day, Cameron and Kieran both had like really intense um, nasal congestion, and I don't have that at all. I just have like a sore throat. And this, this typically happens for some reason um, whenever Cameron gets sick. I get it like a week later and it's not nearly as bad for me. Of course, I'm also a total psycho about like taking vitamins and vitamin C and you know, all my little herbal, my snake oil remedies. I'm, I'm like crazy about that. As soon as he gets sick, I just start shoveling them in. So maybe, you know, maybe my snake oil actually works. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I used to actually be extremely crunchy <laughs> to the point where it was not good. To the point where it was negatively impacting my life and started turning into like a, a disordered thing, if you know what I'm saying. While I still have a lot of little crunchy things that I do, um, I'm definitely a lot more scrunchy these days. I find happiness in doing things a little crunchy. Um, but I also like the balance, you know what I'm saying? Totally random, I know. Let's see, apart from being sick, I've had insomnia the past couple of nights. The night before last was 3 a.m. and then this morning was 4 a.m. <laughs> when I realized that I can't go back to sleep, I just start nesting. And it was a little bit hard to do this morning because I was really having that, that coming down with the cold feeling. I do know I need to rest, obviously, but... That drive to nest is just so, so strong, and I'm trying to pay attention to what my body can do and what I should do, but I cannot deny, like, I just want to rip apart everything. <laughs> I just want to purge everything that, that we're not using that's expired. Like, this coffee cupboard was a disaster this morning. But after laying in bed for an hour trying to sleep, I just decided I'm, I was going to get up and, you know, it was on my mind. <laughs> One of those early mornings, I also did this spice cupboard. And then this baking cupboard was just full of like extremely expired gluten-free baking stuff. I ended up doing the pantry one day. Yes, we still have Kieran's lemonade stand that we built for his birthday. Comes in handy for holding all of his snacks. What I'm really, really itching to do next is the refrigerator because it's pretty disgusting for my standards anyway. I am gonna have Cameron help me with that though because there's a bunch of like things about taking it apart that I don't really know about that he's watched YouTube videos for so he's gonna take it apart and then I'm gonna wash it I'm trying to think of what else I did Oh, yeah, I wiped down all the cabinets You know how sometimes when you're cooking grease like floats up and gets on them, but we're talking about like several days <laughs> This I didn't do all of this this morning. That would be I, I'd probably be somewhere not standing right here <laughs> Sometimes I wish the nesting didn't become so obsessive for me, but it really like it I feel like it takes over at some point. It really does just take over. I start cleaning things that are already clean Weird stuff like that. Today's big project is I got a bread box to put in this corner because somebody named Damien is obsessed with chewing on the plastic bag that the bread comes in Okay, that's not the only reason. 
Mostly I've just always wanted to have a bread box and I never got one because I don't eat bread, but the two boys love their bread. So I'm getting something nice for me. <laughs> it's actually been quite a while since I, I got myself anything. We were just really on like a no spending thing for a few months while we were waiting for the escrow to close. Yeah, just trying to rest right now. That's gonna be arriving here in the next couple of hours, I think. Gosh, there's so much more that I wanna go clean and organize, but I know I need to rest and <laughs> it's killing me. <laughs> Our clover is growing. Mm -hmm. It's really bright out. It's very bright. I don't like it. Me either. Let's go inside. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. It's a bread box and a butter boat. So you and Kieran don't have to melt the butter in the microwave to put it on your toast anymore. What if I have one some melted butter? I don't want to clean up after you guys. <laughs> How's it feel to have your own personal lasagna? I want one every month. Every month. <laughs> How many lasagnas have you had this month? Well, last month. Two. Well, two of yours, Trader Joe's lasagna and Kirtland brand lasagna. So you're on a lasagna kick. I am on the lasagna kick. Yeah, that's gonna have to be built. This one, not so much. Look at that. That can definitely fit a giant carry gold. Perfect. Damien's getting in the boxes. Damien. <laughs> I forgot to say, um, there was a package that was sent to us for the cats, <laughs> and um, we had like a little cat treat list for people to send treats for the cats if they wanted to, and I, I'm not sure if it was UPS or the Amazon people, they dropped it in our side yard, and it's a, it's not really a functional side yard, it has like, except for our air conditioner and stuff, and we don't really check back there. But it was, it was all of these cat treats. And it, um, yeah, the package was so badly degraded because of sitting back there for a while. Like I think it was ordered like early in March and the little papers that were like, you know, enjoy your gift were all rained on and there was like pollen all over the cat treats and stuff. Like the, the whole paper package was degraded by the rain. So I don't know who sent it, but thank you. I am 1,000% certain the cats are going to love these. Anyway, it's this little bread box. I got the black and bamboo one because I thought that would look nice. And then, you know, black and bamboo butter boat. Can you guys please? Astrid. Okay, I love how nothing is labeled. I'm going to figure this out. Ah, yes. A beautiful little bread box. Hopefully no longer be harassed by Damien. There. Hopefully no more melting butter in the microwave. No more tiny little dishes covered in melted butter. <laughs> it's cute. Something else that I've been wanting to do is get like... Yes? <laughs> Something else that I've been wanting to do is to get like glass, like cylinder food containers with bamboo lids to put on the, the counter. Thinking about how um, his Cheerios get really stale in the box. So I want to put them in like some kind of airtight container. Mm. Like those plastic cereal ones? No, like glass. Mm. Fancy. Fancy. Peaky out. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Ah, yes, pork rinds. <laughs> That's so funny. Do you want to watch... Yeah. Well, I think I'm gonna get to fixing this little guy some real food for lunch. And then sadly, I'm gonna force myself to rest because I have done a lot today. And I wanna do so much more. I wanna go clean the yard and do all this crazy stuff upstairs, organizing closets and everything. But I need to rest. I need to rest. I need to listen to my body. I hope y'all have a wonderful week. And to whoever got us the cat treats, thank you so much. I'm sorry I didn't see them sooner. Mm -hmm.